Immersed Robot. Hello everyone, welcome to Immersed Robot. So in this video I wanted to take a quick look at No Man's Sky and the new DLSS options which are now in the game. Uh, so this is a special feature for RTX NVIDIA graphics cards which uh, stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling and it just helps with performance basically while maintaining a sharp image. So what I'm running here at the moment, I'm currently on a planet just landed uh, just in my normal save and you can see the frame rate is jumping around a bit. I'm running at 150% Steam VR Super Sampling and at 120 hertz in my Valve Index. So it's settling down on 60 FPS, it looks like for the most part. Um, so it's reprojecting pretty much constantly, but it does jump up every now and again. Um, so let's just go into these options. So the new settings are in graphics options. You can see my base settings here. And at the moment I've just got FXAA uh, anti-aliasing in there so let's switch that over to DLSS you've got a few settings in here in terms of DLSS quality um, so you can see that there's a few different things so the quality setting offers higher image quality than balanced mode balanced offers both optimized performance and image quality so I guess that's the one we'll start with um, performance offers higher performance boost than balance mode I guess it will drop the quality of the image because of that and then ultra performance offers the highest performance boost recommended for 8k resolutions only okay so let's apply that and see what we get now okay so Okay, so that, that's a pretty good result. Although, yeah, I say it's a pretty good result. So it looks like it jumped up to 120 frames per second briefly there. It is settling back down to 60. Um, so we are still in reprojection on that balance. But then here we're back up to 120. So it looks like it's having an, an effect. So we've got 7.7 7 to 8 milliseconds frame timings. Let's just go quickly back in. Let's see if we could turn that off again. So yeah, the frame timings now are around eight to nine milliseconds, whereas before they were sort of seven. Although it does jump down a little bit when I look in this direction. So the effect it's having isn't huge at the moment. It's, uh, it's definitely having an effect. And I will say that I believe it looks a little bit better. Let's just uh, switch it back to DLSS. And this time actually, let's try Let's try performance first. Okay, yeah, I mean, the, the frame timings do seem lower, I've got to say. Um, very slightly, you're looking at probably like one millisecond, one to two milliseconds faster frame times, it looks like. This is just a very quick first impressions for me, by the way. I'm not going to be uh, really experimenting in depth with it at the moment, but uh, I will do. This is just a, a very quick first look. So let's just try this then. So if we go down to 90 FPS, because it, on planets, it's very difficult in No Man's Sky to maintain 90 in general, um, but it can be done. So we can get pretty comfortable. This. I mean, a few updates ago, this was sort of unheard of. I wasn't able to keep 90 frames per second like this, really. Um, and it is still jumping around. And I think a lot of these are really to do with the CPU. You can see the spikes there on the CPU side rather than the GPU side, anyway. Let's get in the ship and just see... Uh, actually, let's uh, turn this DLSS back up to uh, balanced. Quickly try quality actually, just for your reference, just so you can see this. See, it's very difficult to see any difference, any changes in actual image quality when I look at this. I can't honestly speak and say that I notice a big difference in image quality as I switch between these settings, but it might not work exactly like that. I'm not sure. I don't know a lot about this DLSS, so I'm going to have to look into it a little bit more, I think. But we're getting pretty comfortable frame rates here anyway, either way. Uh, let's get in the ship and just see the uh, the effect of that. Okay. Okay, 
so as we take off here this is where you'll really notice some frame rate issues uh, when you're flying over the surface of a planet okay this is much better than the last time I played which was a while ago actually um, so we do get some spikes there again CPU side is to blame for that not really the GPU okay, let me very quickly just turn off DLSS just see of the effect on that oh, okay uh, let's go back to FXAA okay we're still getting those dips on the CPU side anyway which is to be expected I will say I think the frame rate is slightly less consistent and it looks like the frame timings do jump up a little bit on the uh, GPU side but the game is performing better than the last time I played anyway um, I think it was after the Expeditions update I noticed there was quite a big difference in uh, performance in the game um, but it looks like they've changed that in general anyway and this is running pretty well let's go into space um, this is probably the smoothest I've felt it play um, but I'm not too sure how much that is down to the DLSS let's try a different planet Okay, so I've turned DLSS back on now, I've uh, switched it over to balanced mode. Let's just see how it copes with uh, going down to a new planet. A lot of the issues around this, where you go down to a new planet and you'll find that there's stuttering and things like that, it's really where it's loading in the uh, the, uh, the, the scenery and the landscape, really, and it does affect the CPU probably more than the GPU in, in many ways. So, okay, I don't know if this is the DLSS or not, but that it's very rarely this smooth and we do get some dips there okay yeah that's probably a bit more familiar to me how it was then um, but this is working pretty well okay when I land on here let's just do some direct comparisons again just see what the result is Okay, if we monitor the GPU frame timings, let's just uh, ignore the CPU for the time being. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this up to 120 hertz just to push things a little bit further. Okay, so GPU frame timings on this planet are running around 7 to 8 high eights um, yeah this looks a little bit blurry as well this looks a little bit blurry to me so let's just turn off DLSS okay let's go for TAA on this um, because that says it's fast multi frame sampling that is sharper than FXAA and that's what I want to have a look at here both frame timings so overall I've got to say it looks slightly blurry to me but I think I'm really used to playing without any anti-aliasing at all anyway um, so that's probably why um, frame timings are sort of seven eight nine milliseconds on this setting I'm going to turn anti-aliasing off Yeah, see that looks a lot sharper now anyway. Um, I know not everybody likes to play with this in this way because um, you do get those this sort of shimmering effects on the sharp edges of things, but uh, I prefer the, the slightly sharper image overall, personally. But So frame timings, we're down to seven, eight milliseconds around that timing. Turn on DLSS again. Apologies for just uh, jumping around quite a bit through this. This is just sort of me. It's more for me testing it for myself, in all honesty. But I will upload this video just uh, to give some initial, so you can see it yourselves. So frame timings have gone up. And it doesn't look as good to me, honestly. It's just too, it's a little bit more blurry than I like it to be. Um... 
So I'm not sure if I'll be playing with this. I'm going to look into this a lot more um, because, uh, you know, I'm only just scratching the surface of what it can do, I'm sure, here at the moment. But uh, it gives us an idea. It does seem to affect, affect uh, GPU frame timings when compared to other forms of anti-aliasing. Um, but if you play this game without anti-aliasing anyway, it doesn't look like it's too much of a benefit. And I'm sure it will change on the kind of environments you're doing. But it looks overall like the performance in No Man's Sky has been optimised a little bit since the last time I played anyway. So that's encouraging, if nothing else. Um, but yeah, I'll look into this a bit more. It's not really my impressions of this at the moment because I've not had time to look into it. But hopefully by showing you this overlay on the screen, uh, you can get some idea of the effect of DLSS. But um, yeah, try it yourselves and let me know what you think. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this very quick video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.